At first at 4.30, another roll of the dice on legalized gambling at the state capitol. This time, the idea combines sports betting and poker in neighborhood gambling rooms. As Daryl Huff reports, supporters claim they might solve multiple problems. The two representatives pushing this bill both represent parts of Kali, where illegal gambling is a big problem, and they'd like to provide a legal alternative. So by, um, you know, having a legal avenue for these people to express their willingness to, you know, play these poker games, um, we're going to get the tax revenue. Representatives Daniel Holt and John Mizuno are proposing a test of small, privately owned and heavily taxed gambling parlors like these in Eugene, Oregon, where patrons would play only poker and place bets on sports. They say the parlors would be attractive to people who now take their money to Vegas and also might reduce the pressure to legalize online sports betting here. And the reason why we're concerned with DraftKings, FanDuel, we don't want a mainland corporation coming in and just taking all the money. They proposed the money would go to law enforcement to crack down on illegal gambling and for gambling addiction programs and the Hawaiian homelands. What kind of money are we talking about? We're talking about millions. Eric Ford is involved with Full House Poker in Oregon and is Mizuno's expert on the proposed bill. He also was sentenced in 2013 to 20 months in federal prison for masterminding an illegal gambling operation in Kona. His co-defendant, Kendall Limahai, is also part of his current organization. Ford says his proposal would allow convicted gamblers to run the parlors, but not tax evaders or mainlanders. Have to be local, have to be born in Hawaii, have to be a 35-year resident in Hawaii to go for this license. Ford says he apologized and did his time for his mistake and can use his experience for good, but many will be skeptical. You need these people to be above reproach and be able to follow the rules and, um, you know, do what's right. And these two, with their past criminal records, have obviously proven that they can't follow the rules. Retired Honolulu Police Deputy Chief John McCarthy said opening gambling parlors would just increase social and criminal problems, but Governor Green says he's willing to consider the lawmakers' ideas. You know, we need revenue for, for our state, but the revenues, if you're not careful, do come from those who are tending to have uh, economic problems or challenges. So I'm, I'm, I'd like to be careful. So what are the odds for any new gambling measure making any progress in the legislature? All I'd say is don't bet on it. Reporting from Kalihi, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.